Yo guys, welcome back, David YouTube channel, I'm David. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to set up your DMA Cheats hardware. Let your two computer monitors connect and working together with your Cheats. Before the tutorial start, I have to say it first to note in particular, is that there are currently three different colors of Deach Infuser appearing on the market. The Deach Inversion 4 colors are black, white, and red. The Fusion device shown in the video is the Deach Inversion 5 generation, but of course users of the 4 generation version can follow along with my tutorial as they are set up the same way. You can also order Genuine Deachin's 5th generation version of the Fuser from our Taobao or Sugar Goo store. And the also our version of the Deachin 5 Fusion device also comes with an anti-counterfeiting QR code and an additional identification code for each device. Now I'm going to go over how the cables in the Fusion and the buttons work and what it does mean. So please bear with me, otherwise you'll be like a child in David Discord server, keep asking for help all the time. First of all, you will undoubtedly get a Fusion box, then you will receive a power adapter, three HDMI cables, and a USB cable. Both HDMI interfaces in my drawing circle need to be connected to your main PC. The other remaining HDMI connector needs to be connected to the GPU connector of the radar PC. The Type-C port need to connect the main PC USB port, only for first time. You set up the fuser, need to use the USB cable in the fuser. This is the standard power plug, you just need to connect it to the rightmost connector on the fusion box. In here, I translated into English the cross-reference chart. You can follow the settings in the picture to connect your cable, for right now. Now, I'm going to explain all the buttons and the lights. Then you can easy going to your ESP cheat software and enjoying the red button is the fuser power. Once you press it, then it will let your monitor won't work. The D1 through D4 lights represent whether or not your two monitors are working properly. In the upper right corner, I have detailed the informational role of the signals in words. Now let me introduce you what the four signals do. And of course I've explained what they're used for using text in the upper left hand corner. Usually after the cable is connected to the Fusion, you just need to press the K1 or K4 button in the game. If you are new to this, please don't press the K2 and K3 buttons. Here's the Fusion, working in the normal conditions. Now, I show you how to get the EDID firmware for your monitor and flash it to the Fusion. If you're Deachin 5th Gen version user, you can skip the next tutorial on Get EDID and Flash Firmware Case. You can start cheating yet! The Deachin Fusion setup tool I put on my GitHub and my Discord server. First open the first tool for EDID acquisition. After opening the software, you don't need to select any device. Please click on the top left corner and select File. Then click Save As. Then save your monitor firmware to any disk location on your computer. Please make sure your USB cable connects with the Fuser device, then flash. Don't forget. Now I'll show you how to flash the Fuser firmware for your monitors and let it working. Don't ask me what you use the main PC or the radar PC for flash in firmware. My answer is both PC can flash Fuser firmware. And now you can see this is the file I just saved. Now open device manager and choice. COM port devices. You can see the TH340 and the port, which is our Fusion device. Now open the second Fusion Flash firmware software, choice your COM port, then flash it. If you don't know Chinese, just follow me. What do I do? You do it again. This resolution option, please adjust. According to your computer screen resolution, no need follow me this step because my monitor is 1K resolution. Once you've selected your resolution, you can click on the button that flashes into the firmware here in the area I've selected with my mouse. After selected done, just click it, then flash. Then you will notice that your monitor goes black for a few seconds. This is normal. If you still have questions, welcome join our Discord server.